Hey guys, my name is Steve, and over here to the right is my absolute favorite cooker. It's the Extra Large Grill Dome Infinity Series Ceramic Kamado. And today we're going to be getting a new series. It's going to be called Seven Cooks to Become a Pro. And the purpose of this series is to show you the eight must have accessories by Grill Dome and then walk you through uh, five or six different. Uh, just basic backyard cooking videos such as ribs, chicken, pizza, steak, things like that. And so throughout the series, during each of the cooking videos, we're going to throw up some graphics that are going to help you out, such as a recipe graphic. We're going to show you a graphic that uh, will walk you through what type of setup, such as indirect or direct. Uh, we're going to walk you through which accessories are used for each cook, uh, how long to cook the food, etc. And so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Right behind me, we've got the eight must-have accessories, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at those now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the eight must-have accessories for your grill dome cooking environment. And the first thing, this is the grill gripper. This is crucial because this is what you're going to use to pick up the large grill grates if you need to pick it up and add some more lump charcoal. This thing works great. The next thing, this is the chicken sitter. We're going to be doing a video uh, that shows how to cook a uh, beer can chicken on the Grill Dome Kamado. So you'll get to see this again soon. This is the quick flip, and so we're going to walk through this accessory when we do the steak video. When you're doing the steak video, you've got the indirect cooking rack in the downward position when you're doing a high heat sear, and so you use this tool to quickly flip your steak. So we'll take a look at that again later. This is probably, in my opinion, uh, the most important tool with your uh, grill dome cooker, this is the ash tool. And so as you cook, ash falls down through the, the uh, ash grate on the bottom and you use this tool to scoop all the ash out uh, before each cook. So this is crucial and I'll walk you guys through how to use this. All right, what we've got here, this is the rapid light. What this is, is you just plug this in, this is a uh, basically just a heating element that you kind of tuck down under your lump charcoal and in just seven to eight minutes your lump charcoal is going to be lit so uh, you know if you're used to using lighter cubes or newspaper once you use this guy right here you'll never go back to that stuff all right next we've got our pizza stone you can see that I use mine a lot uh, these are obviously used for cooking pizzas on they're also used for an indirect heat diffuser when you're cooking low and slow in an indirect environment. So we'll be looking at the pizza stone a lot during our cooks. This is the indirect cooking rack. And so for an indirect low and slow cook, you've got it flipped upside down. And I'll walk you guys through all that. Uh, but then when you're cooking pizzas, you're using this in the upward position with a pizza stone on top. So we'll take a look at that. And then lastly, this is the grill extender. So this is basically just a, a second rack that goes on top of your main rack. It's going to give you an entire second cooking area. And so, uh, you know, if you're cooking ribs, uh, you know, chickens and a butt, you got a whole bunch of stuff on the grill, you're definitely going to be using this guy right here. Alright, so now that we've looked at the eight must-have accessories, we're going to go ahead and pick up next video with some basics. So we're going to look at starting up the uh, Grill Dome Kamado, shutting it down, we're going to look at indirect versus direct setups and some various uh, rack arrangements. So we'll see you then.